You're on camera, Will. Camera on? Yeah. The camera's on. Yeah. You'll be on the bloopers from mm -hmm. earlier. Your Spanish yeah, is getting to be beautiful, Will. Bosa, your Spanish is becoming beautiful. <laughs> Can I ask you? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you going to do the whole meeting in Spanish? Pardon me? Are you going to do the whole meeting in Spanish? I should, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look right. Uh -huh. Yeah, meet the bids in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> you want a four hour meeting? <laughs> I don't know how those minutes will read. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you teaching the word a day or something? Or? No, we sometimes we practice. Oh. Call the order of regular meeting of the Board of Public Works for the November oh, it's, it's December 9th, 2020. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Present. Wiener Guzman. Present. Hey, next we have the minutes of the regular meeting of November 25th, 2020. I'm entertain a motion to approve as written. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Rena Guzman? Yes. And no correspondence. We'll move on to new business. First item on our agenda. Bid openings for Phase 5, Block Stadium, HDAC, slash plumbing. This is from Public Works. Uh, we only have one bid, and it is from Mechanical Concepts, located at 750 South County Line Road, Gary, Indiana. So for bid package number one for plumbing, heating, uh, ventilation, and air conditioning, the base bid amount uh, is one hundred and sixty-five thousand one hundred and twenty-nine dollars one six five one two nine. Again, that was the only bid that we got. So we'll submit a copy to uh, Keith Selvin, mm -hmm. uh, which I assume will give us a recommendation for approval at the next board meeting. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to move on to the second item of our agenda, bid openings for the 2020 Phase 2 Board of Safety Demolition of Unsafe Structures within the building department. Okay, first bid is from Acton, uh, located at 1102 East Columbus Drive in Chicago, Indiana. One, we have uh, 3529 Guthrie, $123,500 for 3764 Guthrie, $15,675. For group two, for 410 Prospect, $9,460. For 12 Prospect, $9,460. For 418 Prospect, $9,000. For 20 Prospect, $9,000. For 
405 Spring Street, $9,460. 407 Spring Street, $9,460. 413 Spring Street, $8,200. 415 Spring Street, $8,200. 509 School Street, $9,460. 511 School Street, $9,460. 416 Riley Road, $9,400. 418 Riley Road, $9,400. 410 Park Street, $11,450. Total for all groups, $260,585. Two six zero five eight five. Next, we have uh, DR Site Services, located six twenty East Tenth Place, Gary, Indiana. Group one. 3529 Guthrie Avenue, $247,150, 247 150 uh, For 3764 Guthrie, $15,150. For Group 2, 410 Prospect Street, $6,500. 412 Prospect, $6,500. 418 Prospect, $6,500. 420 Prospect, $6,500. Uh, for the, they're all $6,500 for the following addresses 405 Spring Street, 407 Spring Street, 413 Spring Street, 415 Spring Street, 509 School Street. 511 School Street, 416 Riley Road, uh, 418 Riley Road. Again, that's $6,500 for the following addresses. For 410 Park Street, $9,475. For the total for all groups, $349,775. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, excuse me. The <coughs> 405 Spring Street on the way down, what was that number? 405 Spring Street, right. all the way down, $6,500. Okay, thanks. It's actually um, $6,500 for all addresses in Group 2 minus 410 Park Street. That's the only one with a different number, which is at $9,475. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we have JM Industrial Services, located at 201 Marble Street, Hammond, Indiana. <clears throat> For Group 1, address 3529 Guthrie, $121,000. 3764 Guthrie, $13,000. For Group 2, 410 Prospect, $6,000. 412 Prospect, $6,000. 418 Prospect, $5,500. 420 Prospect, $5,500. 405 Spring Street, $6,000. 407 Spring Street, $6,000. 413 Spring Street, $5,000. 415 Spring Street, $5,000. 509 School Street, $6,000. 511 School Street, $6,000. 416 Riley Road, $6,000. 418 Riley Road, $6,000. 410 Park Street, $8,000. Total for all groups, $211,000.
And um, that is the, that's all we did. Can I review them and then just make a recommendation? It's a long meeting, you probably have time. If you want to, if you're, if you're ready. <coughs> Stay in here or are you stepping out? Stepping out. Okay. Okay. Um, so on to the next item. CMH Baseball Block Stadium from Public Works. This is by This is by four by four padding. Uh, this is the nine thousand one hundred. The labor installation of the four by four padding. 4,800 for a total of 13,900. Any questions or comments on this proposal from the CMH? It's wrong. No. Any no. further questions or comments? We obtain a motion to approve, approve CMH. Baseball's proposal for Bronx Stadium for patio and installation amount of thirteen thousand nine hundred. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. Okay. Next we have from um, Public Works. We have two thousand twenty-one rate table schedules. Uh, I will name the companies. Uh, in my conversation with Keith, these are the prices that are the same as the preceding year. We have the rate. Great table for bug guide, pest control service agreement. We have the Tonkovich Oil Company rate schedule for 2021. Uh, this includes automotive lubricants and no, no rates for gasoline or actual gasoline or diesel. We have CD Collision Center, their uh, rate schedule. Chicago Tire, their rate schedule. HECC their rate schedule, their equipment and labor. NU Creations Construction, their rate schedule for 2021. STM Enterprises, their rate schedule for 2021. Dream Builders of America, their rate schedule for 2021. In cremation systems, their daily service rate schedules. And I said these are all for from public works. Are there any questions or comments on these rate schedules? No. No. There being no further questions or comments, which I wish to approve on the aforementioned 2021 rate table schedules for public works for the year 2021. So moved. Second. Roll call. Tom Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Mina Guzman. Yes. Next we have from, also for Public Works, from New Chicago Safety. Uh, this is a professional service agreement, a renewal between the Sanitary District and Solid Waste Division. This is for support and maintenance for the Phoenix Cleaning System over at Central Service. Um, it, provide, it also provides preventive maintenance do not be monitored the fuel supply, and assist in the record keeping, assist in the quality, quality, quality for emergency, for emergency generator for location, and rise of assistance for also waste products. The amount of services will be 2,472 per month. Are there any questions or comments on this proposal? No. If you have no further questions or comments, I'm going motion to approve the East Chicago Safety proposal for support of our fuel system in the amount of $2,472 per month. So, Second. Roll call. Dow Coleman. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. And next we have the standard equipment. Uh, this is also for public works. We have preventive maintenance agreements. We have two. One is for three sweepers, and then the other one is for 11 garbage trucks. This is a preventive maintenance program. Uh, there's a listing for each vehicle. It's for 
I think they're about the same as the Orange vehicle in the range of 13, 1,300 to 1,378 for the garbage trucks. Are there any questions or comments on this preventive maintenance program and standard equipment? No. Do you want to bring questions or comments or to motion to approve standard equipment preventive maintenance agreements with public works for the standard equipment for the three sweepers and 11 garbage trucks for 2021? So moved. Second. Roll call. Joe Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Lena Guzman? Yes. And next we have from Atlas Toyota. We have three preventive maintenance agreements, one for their forklift, one for their system. The forklift one is for 321. The preventive maintenance agreement for the scissor lift with Public Works is 350. And uh, for the horse floor scrubber, it's 814. Do you have any questions or comments on these three preventive maintenance agreements for Alice Toyota? No. No. Do you have any questions or comments or do you want to improve Alice Toyota's preventive maintenance agreements with public works for your three uh, pieces of equipment? So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Lena Guzman? Yes. And next we have. From Sports Field, we have an agreement proposal for fertilizer weed control for four Lofton fields and two Kosciuszko fields in the amount of 14425 And we also have from Sports Field agreement for field maintenance for the four Lofton fields, two Kosciuszko fields, top field and this is one that's for 11,280 and the third one is for field maintenance at Block Stadium and that's for 15,750 annually, 750 per visit. Any questions or comments on these three proposals from Sports Field and Public Works? No. Mm -hmm. If you no further questions or comments, there's a motion to approve the three Agreements for field maintenance and weed control and fertilization with Sports Village and Public Works for the year 2021. So moved. Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have from Luke. Luke Car Wash Agreement. Uh, this is the same uh, amount. It's four dollars per vehicle for car wash of city vehicles. Same price we have for 2020. Uh, it's been submitted again for 2021. In terms are the same as the previous year. Are there any questions on the car wash agreement? Yeah. Yeah. Are there any further questions or comments? We approve the new Luke's car wash agreement with the city of Chicago and on $4 per vehicle. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Wiener Guzman? Yes. Okay, next we have from Christian Christmas Decor by Servscape. Uh, this is from Special Events. This is a professional service agreement. Uh, this is actually for more um, Christmas ornaments uh, for special events at the City Hall in the city. And part of it is to repair damage done by squirrels that have been damaging the, the lights, I imagine, from what I understand, and also for replacement of old ones that were caused by uh, squirrel damage from the previous year. And this is an amount of forty-five thousand nine hundred five dollars and seventy-nine cents. Forty-five thousand nine hundred and five squirrels have been Any questions or comments on this proposal? I 
Okay. This actually was submitted as an emergency, you know, appeals or uh, we closed POs with this one. Special events as a week that process the mayor's office said it's an emergency to repair it to the holiday season. Uh, lights won't be extinguished by the squirrels. Any so no comments or questions? No. No. I've been up for a question or comments and entertain a motion to approve. The Christmas decor by Sir Service gate in the amount of forty-five thousand and thirty-five dollars and seventy-nine cents. So Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have in the art department. We have several service agreements, maintenance. First one is with Five Alarm. This is for the Hearst Rescue Tools. This is for life for inspection and maintenance program of 2021. And it has their rate schedule. We also have their master fire extinguisher service and service rate schedule for 2021. We have Hastings. This is for the preventive maintenance program for your private emergency vehicle exhaust system. We have their pest control service agreement with the bug guy. We have minor electronics. This is their service agreement for their portable radios. And we have also their quotes for the maintenance of their breathing uh, system. This is a two parts. They have in their the June quote and the Jan uh, June and July quote. Which are the same, 51347. I spoke to the fire chief. He said these rates are the same as the previous rate schedules from last year. And he's in agreement with the proposals, the rate schedules. Are there any questions or comments? No. There are no further questions or comments until the motion to approve the rate schedule submitted by the fire department for 2021 before mentioned rates. So moved. Roll call. Phil Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Hmm. Next we have 4833 Alexander. Notice of emergency. Emergency demolition. I have a letter from the building department. Uh, the notice of emergency would be for Jane Industrial Services for 4833. We also have the notice to proceed for 4833 Alexander and the notice to proceed for 4035 Alexander, which I believe we have approved before. Are there any questions or comments on the 4833 Alexander notice of emergency order for Jane Evans? No. No. Any further questions or comments on the motion to approve the emergency notice of demolition for Jane and Industrial Services for 4033 Alexander? So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Yeah. Luina Guzman. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to turn the motion for approval of the notice to proceed for 4033 Alexander for Industrial Services and 4835 Alexander for Jane and Industrial Services. So moved. Roll call. Doug Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, we come to outstanding invoices. First one on our agenda is from the building department from Ten Minute Waste. We have invoices dated. We have one, two, three, four, five, six invoices dated from 06 26 2020 through 9 28 2020 for a total amount of $57,736. Uh, explanation from the building firm was they were seeking additional funding that was not available at the time of the invoice. So they had to do transfers, basically they had to transfer to the other payments. Are there any questions or comments? No. Yeah. Are there no further questions or comments? I'm taking a motion to approve paying the invoice, uh, payment for late invoice, the amount of $57,736. So moved. Second. 
Welcome. Don Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have from the DMR Site Services, also from the building department. We have one invoice dated 7 8 2019, the amount of $2,700. Their explanation is structure demolished at 1813 Broadway, 80% of the invoice was paid, final inspection did not pass due to solid. Building permits. Part of the process for completing demolition is installation of solid, so we just wait for that solid installation. Are there any questions or comments on this day invoice? No. If you know further question or comment, I take a motion to approve DNR's late invoice with building department the amount of two thousand seven hundred dollars. So Second. Roll call. Shell Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. William Guzman. Yes. And next we have um, engineering, late invoice from Garrett Construction. And we have one invoice uh, dated 9-30-2020, the amount of $140,502.23. Explanation, engineering department received the invoice on time. However, final EEOC figures had to be determined prior, prior to processing payment. The liquidation damages and the final the invoice should be processed. Any questions or comments? Any further questions or comments? And a motion to approve delayed invoice payment to Garrett in the amount of $140,510.23. So moved. Second. Roll call. Dow Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Second. Next, we have laid invoice also from engineering for Hansky Construction. And then we have one invoice dated 220 2020 in the amount of $5,510.10. Explanation engineering department received the invoice on 12 1 2020. The contractor was inquiring on payment. Services that are rendered invoice should be processed. The invoice was submitted on time to an employee of engineering for the engineer in the project that no longer worked for him. Any questions or comments on this way, invoice? Okay. No. There being no further questions or comments, we're going to motion to approve. Cassie Construction is to make invoice for payment of one five thousand five hundred ten dollars and ten cents. So second. Roll call. Dow Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have also from engineering, Commonwealth Engineers. Two related invoices, both dated eight twenty six twenty. Now total amount of the both are seven thousand ninety two dollars and eighty nine cents. Engineering department received the invoices on 12 3 2020. When the contractors acquired payment, service had been rendered, invoice should be processed. Invoice was submitted to the wrong address. Any questions or comments? No. No. Any further questions or comments? There's a motion to approve the late payment for late invoice to Commonwealth engineers in amount of $7,092.88. So Second. Welcome. Dow Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Lena Guzman? Yes. Okay, next we have late from also from engineering for Hansen Construction. There are two invoices dated, both dated from 9 4 2020 for a total of $57,780.99. Explanation Engineering Department received the invoice on 12 01 2020. When the contractor was inquiring on payment, services have been rendered. Any questions or comments on this way, please? No. If there be no further questions or comments, there's a motion to approve as to construction of late invoice for engineering. Second. Second. Roll call. Dow Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. William Guzman. Yes. And next we have from Tonka the Chorna. We had the City of Chicago Field Supply Contract 2020. This came from the law department. Um, it has our rates for, this is for gasoline. We have the product specifications. It's for gasoline, uh, they have different octanes, and have diesel fuel. We have the wholesale cost per gallon, we have the market cost. 
Is this similar to last year's? Yeah. The key thing is the markup, I believe, is 0.187 cents per gallon. No, no. 0.109? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's, that's the only difference that's the markup? Yeah. Are there any questions or comments on the city of Chicago fuel supply contract for 2020 and Tonka Ridge Oil? Yeah. Right. There being no further questions or comments, I'm to a motion to approve the city of Chicago fuel supply contract for Tonka Ridge Oil Company Incorporated for the year 2021. So moved. Second. Bill Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Wayne Goosen? Yes. Okay, next we have contract for legal services between the City of Chicago and Attorney Don Dawkins. So, Department of Law feels it necessary to gain an attorney on a contractual basis to assist the Corporation Council and the City Attorney provide legal services and the Constitution of City Ordinances. Violations is all right here. The letter related to tax is signed by the Department of Law. I believe it's similar to last year's. Uh, the rates are 125 per hour for non litigation, $150 per hour for services per performing connection with matters of litigation. And there is not to exceed the amount of $50,000. Are there any questions or comments on the contract by Terry Don Dawkins? No. No. Being up for a question of comments or general motion to approve the contract to the city of Chicago and attorney Don Dawkins for the year 2021. So then, roll call. Don Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. William Gleason. Yes. Okay, we have a similar contract for October and October. Contract to the city of Chicago in October and October. Uh, same conditions provide assistance to the city. Corporate con and city attorney and corporation council. And their rates are the screaming will be 170 per hour. For attorneys, um, $100 an hour per legal, $70 per law firm. A sum not to exceed $60,000 without prior written authorization. Are there any Questions or comments on um, the contract in October and October City of Chicago? No. no. There be no further questions or comments, which I want to approve the contract to City of Chicago in October and October for the year 2021. So, yeah. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Yeah. Weena Goldsmith. Yes. Okay, next we have the attorney employment contract with Carl Morgan for 2020. If they really should double this. <laughs> um, this is our city attorney. The rates uh, for this morning are 125 per hour. With some pocket expenses, uh, not to exceed 130,000 for the year 2021. Any questions or comments on the uh, agreement between attorney who put a contract between attorney Carl Morgan and the city of Chicago for 2021? No question. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was hoping for a faster response. Give me no further question or comment. I'm motion to approve attorney in front of contract between uh, attorney Carl Morgan and the city of Chicago for 2021. So, second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Goosmith. Okay, next we have the contract for legal services between the city of Chicago and attorney Smith Sersic for the year 2021. Uh, these, these legal services will provide support of completion of statutory requirements to acquire properties by tax deed for the city at a flat rate of 500 in fees per property. Time, quick time to be set properties at a rate of 125 per hour for attorney. $80 an hour for staff time. And the lot of apartment should be billed 250 per property after 4.5 notices and 250 per properties after 4.6 notices. 
under the legal service under contract should be invoiced monthly at the rate of 125 per hour. Total services from January 20, 2021 through December 31, 2021 shall not exceed 25,000. Legal services provided to the Port Authority shall be billed to the Port Authority at a rate of 125 per hour. Are there any questions or comments on this agreement? There are. Yeah. There be no further questions or comments. I entertain a motion, motion to approve the contract for legal services between the city of Chicago and Smith's district in terms of law for the year 2021. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Wayne Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have contract for professional services between the city of Chicago and Richard Morris for 2021. Professional service on this contract in planning, non litigation legal services, and general services should be invoiced monthly at rate of fifty dollars per hour. Um, litigation services signed to Jim Marshall should be invoiced at the rate of one twenty five per hour. And shall not exceed the amount of $65,000 without hiring an authorization from the City Law Department and Board of Public Works. Are there any questions or comments on the contract for professional services to the City of Chicago and Attorney Richard Marshall? No. There be no further questions or comments, there be a motion to approve the contract for professional services in between the City of Chicago and Attorney Richard Marshall. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. And next we have contract for professional services between the city of Chicago and Teresa and Geyser. Um, professional service on this contract through research, community relations, public relations, public outreach, general services shall be invoiced monthly at the rate of seventy five dollars per hour. Uh, legal litigation services uh, shall be invoiced at the rate of $125 per hour. So, so for professional services performed under this contract in January 2021 through December 31, 2021, should not exceed $75,000, $70,000, without prior written authorization from the city law department. Are there any questions or comments on this agreement? No. No. There be no further questions or comments. Uh, contain a motion to approve the contract for professional services between the City of Chicago and Teresa and Geyser for 2021. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. And next we come to the contract for legal services between the City of Chicago and Attorney Darnell Wiles for the year 2021. Um, attorney charge for legal service under this contract in Waste Monk at the rate of $170 per hour. It should not exceed $75,000. It was extended by the Board of Public Works and I believe approved by the law department. Are there any questions or comments on Attorney Wiles' contract for 2021? Um, no. There be no further questions or comments. I entertain a motion to approve the contract for legal services between the City of Chicago and Attorney Darnell Cornell for the year 2021. So, second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have the contract for the City of Chicago and Attorney Joel Harris, Jr. of Harris Law Firm, PC for legal services for 2021. Uh, services shall be on West Monkey at the rate of 150 per hour for non litigation, 160 per hour for services performed in connection with matters of litigation. Specials, employees, instrumental. <coughs> there is another $90 per hour for other employees for per, per, per legal services and the amount not to exceed is $60,000. Okay, 
Any questions or comments on attorney Joe Harris's contract for 2021? Yeah. If you don't have a question or comment, would you move to approve the contract to the city of Chicago attorney Harris for the year 2021? So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Mina Guzman. Yes. And next we have the contract for legal service between the city of Chicago and the law offices of Shannon Levinson, D. Levinson, 2021. Uh, there are two agreements. The first one is for her work with the East Chicago Police Merit Commission. Uh, under this agreement, the rate would be 125 per hour for non-litigation, $150,000 for services provided in the of litigation. And the amount will not to exceed $25,000. Any questions or comments on Attorney uh, Levinson's contract for the police, with the Police Merit Commission? Yeah. No. If you don't have a question or comments, we have a motion to approve the contract for legal services between the City of Chicago and Attorney Levinson in, in relation to the Police Merit Commission. So moved. Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Nina Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have a contract to the City of Chicago and the Office of the Attorney Levinson for legal services 2021. And I believe these are for non litigation services. The amount of $125 per hour for non litigation, $150 per, per services performed in matters of litigation. And also the amount of not to exceed $25,000. Any questions or comments on this agreement? No. There being no further questions or comments, there's a motion to approve the contract between the City of Chicago and the law offices of Shannon D. Levinson, Attorney Law for Legal Services for 2021 the City of Chicago. So second. Roll call. Joe Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Wiener Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have oh attorney appointment contract for 2021 for Joseph T. Elgrid. Uh, this contract calls for constant. Uh, compensation with rate of 100 per hour plus out of pocket expenses advanced by the attorney of Heaven City not to exceed 50000 per year. Any questions or comments? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't further question or comment, I'm going to approve the contract between attorney uh, Joseph P. Ready in the city of Chicago for the year 2021. So, welcome. Okay. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Wiener Yes. Okay, next we have the contract, consulting contract, between the City of Chicago and J.M. Bennett and Associates. Uh, this contract, Mr. Bennett provides financial, he's a financial officer to the mayor's office, financial consultant. Uh, he provides professional services, uh, performs certain tasks on behalf of the City of Chicago. His contract is the same as the previous year. It is for the amount of $150 per hour and not to exceed $130,000 in the year of 2021 from January to December. Are there any questions or comments on the consulting contract of Mr. J. and Ben? No. No. If you no further questions or comments, I'm taking a motion to approve the consulting contract to the City of Chicago and J. and Ben and Associates for the year of 2021. Second. Roll call. Al Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Next we come to resolution 2020-44. Resolution Chicago Board of Public Works establishing terms and conditions for the transfer of certain property owned by the city of Chicago to the Department of Development, which property is commonly known as 3603 Ivy Street. Parcel number 45-03-21-280-002.000-024. Whereas IC 36-1-11-8 provides that such entities may transfer safety property under terms and conditions and for zero dollars consideration, 
and therefore be resolved that the Board of Works in Chicago and the City of Chicago shall convey and transfer for zero consideration for the above described real estate, which particularly described in the attached quick claim deed to the Department of Redevelopment. Be it further resolved that the Board President be and is, here, and is hereby authorized to execute deeds substantially confirming conforming to the documents attached to convey such property to the Department of Redevelopment along with appropriate sales disclosure forms. Are there any questions or comments on resolution 2020-44? Mm -hmm. There being no further questions or comments, I turn the motion to approve resolution 2020-44 for the transfer of property from the city of Chicago to the Department of Redevelopment. Second. Roll call. Donald Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yeah. Nina Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we have from the City of Chicago Board of Public Works, Resolution 2020-44. Resolution of Chicago Board of Public Works, declaring surplus or obsolete certain equipment for the Public Works Department. Whereas the City of Chicago currently owns certain items of personal, personnel property, including several vehicles which due to age, wear, and high maintenance costs have become unfit for the purpose for which they're intended. And whereas the East Coast Department of Public Works by its director has stated that the equipment listed below has become obsolete and unsuitable for continued use by the city, it recommends that this property be taken commission and deemed surplus in keeping with Indiana Code 5-22-22. And whereas the surplus and equipment is as follows. Um, they have different columns as as uh, name 100. I don't know if that's a certain category. Uh, we, we have yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven traders. We have no vendor age. And we have one car number 2631. We do have the number, it's a 2004 Chevy Impala car, the number 2G1WF52K9493226311. We have a dump truck, name SSR5, the number 1HTGVAAROXH686650, 1999 International, it's a dump truck, model 2554. We have another dump truck, SSR6, VIN number 1HTGBAAR2XH686648, 1999 International, model 2554, dump truck. We have the marina, a weed cutter, and as a number of 0795450A. Uh, NA on the year. The make is Hockney. Model 8C 10 or H. Okay. Okay, whereas Indiana Code 522.22 permits that an obsolete surface or unusable property may be disposed of through auction sale by year. Option sale by your means, including sale of scrap or proceeds, benefiting the city, disposal, through donation, or the cost of sale would exceed the percentage from such sale of property may be donated or trash. And whereas the Board of Works intends to authorize the advertisement for sale, the sale of the above is an obsolete surplus or unusable property by option, where the property and authorizes that the property which is not successfully optioned, be sold as scrap, donated, recycled, or trashed in order in the or that order priority. Therefore, be resolved by the Chicago Board of Public Works by declaring that the above listed items of personal property, which consists of obsolete surplus and unusable equipment, which due to age, wear, and high maintenance costs have come with different to the purpose of here declared obsolete and surplus within the definition provided by IC 522-22-8. And then the board here authorizes that the above listed surplus equipment be advertised for sale by option and authorizes that the option of said equipment in keeping with the requirement of Indian law, Michigan State Controller Procedures, 
we're still challenging them not to set the option the board of works here by authorizing the disposition of such property due to sale of scrap, donation, recycle, or being trashed in that order of priority to the proceeds of the option or sales less cost return to the city's general fund with the final accounting provided by the board of public works. Certified adopted the board of public works, city of Chicago. Any questions or comments on resolution 2020-45? No. No. There being no further questions or comments, we're going to motion to approve resolution 2020-45. A resolution call board put a word to the surplus or obsolete term equipment from the public works department. So moved. Second. Roll call. Bell Gomez. Yes. William L. Yes. Wiener Guzman. Yes. And next we have, uh, we have, Two items from planning department. We have the compliance checks for disbursement. Um, I would like to table this item. Um, the reason I like to table it, it's twofold. One is I didn't get the controls out so you can obviously fire the advance and notice on this. And when I checked into how we're um, the church check disturbance were actually not doing it in the way it's prescribed here. So I'd like to get a little more information and maybe involve a meeting with uh, uh, Mr. Bennett, the mayor's financial advisor, uh, the engineering uh, engineering department, because they have been involved in these in these disbursements and, and they have more knowledge on it. So until we get more information on what should be the proper way? I can table this to the next meeting. Okay. Okay. Um, the next item is a compliance report for phase three. This is a block stadium improvement phase three. And as of this report, liquidated damages are three thousand nine hundred seventy-one point four two cents. BC residency damages are fifty-one thousand six hundred ninety-four and thirty-five cents. Their total damages are fifty-five thousand six hundred sixty-five dollars and seventy-seven cents. As per our custom, no motion is required. This is just for information to be put on the record the board work meeting. Next, we come to the emergency sewer lining repair for Roxana. This is from Granite Dumeiner LLC. This is from the engineering department. Yeah, we would like to move forward with Granite, <coughs> sorry, Inliner to perform. Um, the uh, line of procedure for one of our sewers that supplies the Arakana area. That's approximately 620 linear feet of an uh, eight inch sewer pipe. Uh, but right now it's, it's kind of getting to the point where it's gonna be beyond repair. Um, this will help uh, preserve the uh, pipe that again services uh, the Roxana community. Uh, we did receive a second quote from the Central Forum um, in the amount of $69,840. However, uh, upon our research, we found that uh, Granite, they seem to be more knowledgeable, uh, have more experience, and they did have a more comprehensive proposal, and we just have a higher comfort going with uh, Granite in the amount of $83,040. And yeah, this is considered emergency? Yes. Any questions or comments on the proposal from for emergency sewer line repair with granted in minor LLC? No. If you no further questions or comments, we're going to motion to approve the proposal between the city of Chicago and granted minor LLC for the Shell Street sewer rehabilitation project in the amount of eighty-three thousand four hundred dollars. So moved. Second. Roll Doug Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Lena Guzman? Yes. Okay, next we have 
the first group of engineering. We have around the Santa neighborhood storm and sanitary analysis. This is also engineering. Yeah, this is to uh, perform various design services. Uh, first group will be <coughs> conducting a field survey, storm drainage model, including a write up. Uh, they'll also create a model for our sanitary drainage system, as well as provide um, uh, bid documentations and construction inspection for a not to exceed amount of $375,590. Is this also considered an uh, emergency? Uh, it's, yeah, it, it's considered uh, well, not an emergency, but it's, it's an important project that we already acquired the funding from uh, the Common Council. Well, we haven't started on this yet. This is our proposal to begin it. So, I mean, I'm just, just from the controller standpoint, are they going to do any work in December? Or, or yeah, this way, so they're, they're going to be doing work now oh, yeah? into 2021. Okay, so we'll, we'll consider emergency so we can process it and take my invoices. Okay. Okay. okay, are there any questions or comments on the first group engineering proposal? No. If there be no further questions or comments, I have a motion to approve the first group engineering for the San Juan neighborhood storm and sanitary analysis. That's so Second. Roll call. Sal Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Nina Guzman? Yes. Okay, next we Come to AMG Hello. Construction change order number one for 37 oh, City yeah, Main yeah, Street. Board this is also from engineering. Yeah, for the Galleria um, should be there. project. It should be there. Too. This is going to be the first change order. This is to install okay. new metal doors at the rear of the building, as well as um, uh, create a frame to cover some of the arches, uh, also in the rear of the building. Total amount four thousand six hundred dollars. Okay, any questions or comments on this proposal for AMG for thirty seven twenty four Main Street? Mm -hmm. There be no further questions or comments. Or ten motion to approve AMG construction proposal for thirty seven twenty four Main Street in order of four thousand six hundred dollars. So moved. Second. Roll call. Bell Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Nina Guzman. Yes. And next we have change order from Hassey for the Gut Guthrie Street, change order number 18. This is also from engineering. This is to install 12 new wooden poles uh, to uh, have the uh, cable for the um, fiber be relocated in an aerial fashion from Main Street all the way to Michigan. This goes along with our reconstruction of the job. Okay. Uh, grand total amount is $19,536. Any questions or comments on change order number 18? None. Yeah. If you no further questions or comments, I intend a motion to approve uh, the proposal for Guthrie Street change order number 18 in the amount of $19,536. So moved. Second. Roll call. Yes. William Allen? Yes. Nina Guzman? Yes. Okay, next we have from Midwest Electric. We have their 2021 rate schedule. It's from engineering. Yeah, th this is um, our rate schedule for their uh, uh, maintenance services for our lights throughout East Chicago. They are a, a little bit higher than the previous year. Mm -hmm. So we are still satisfied with their work. Okay. And you do get great schedules from their companies too. Mm -hmm. okay, so. And then they, they have also gone up a little bit as well. Okay. Do you have questions or comments on Midwest Electric's rate schedule for 2021? Mm -hmm. If you no further questions or comments, I'm going to motion to approve Midwest Electric's rate schedule with our engineering department for the year 2021. So uh, Roll call. Sal Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Wiener Guzman? Okay, next we have right away applications. 
City of Chicago Board of Public Works permit application number 20-03695 and 20-03726. Are there any questions or comments on these applications? No. Okay. No further questions or comments. I can motion to approve. Permit application 20-03695 and 20-03726. So moved. Second. Roll call. Yes. William Allen? Yes. Lena Guzman? Yes. Okay, that concludes. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, James Patada, being East Chicago Building Commissioner. Um, in reviewing the bids, the lowest, most responsive bidder was JM Industrial Services for all the properties. Uh, did you want me to list each of the properties and the amount? The total amount is for 200. He's the only, he's the only one? He's the only one. If you give us the total, because we, we entered into the record when we were sure. taking the bids. The total amount then would be for 211000 211000 Correct. Okay. Are there any questions or comments from? And, and this would be subject to financing. Okay. Subject to financing? Correct. Is this, is this, is your intent to start this year? Or in December to start anything? Or is it to next year? It's, it, some of them if we can intend to do it this year, yes. Okay. So you have to see Mr. Ben tomorrow? Yes, I will. Okay. Any questions or comments? No. No. And there being no further questions or comments, with your motion to approve the department's recommendation for JM Industrial in the amount of two thousand two hundred eleven thousand dollars. Someone. Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Nina Guzman. Yes. Okay. And next. That's special meeting? Is that Tuesday? Yeah. Special meeting or just a regular meeting? Oh, special because we're changing the meeting. Correct. Oh, okay. okay, our next meeting, uh, we have a special meeting because it's not, it won't be on our customary Wednesday because it's the holidays. It'll be on Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020 at 4.30 p.m. Any questions or comments on the special the change of the date? No. no. Okay. Uh, that concludes our business for tonight. I'll entertain the motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Roll call. Del Gomez. Yes. Green M. Yes. Green Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, I would like to call to order the meeting of the Board of Public Safety, December 9th, 2020. We will follow the agenda we have in front of us, starting with the Pledge of Allegiance. May we all stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we will have the roll call. Milton Reed. Here. Richard Chemzinski. Here. Thomas Davis. Here. Uh, is there a motion for approval of the special meeting minutes of November 18, 2020? I make a motion. I second. It's been moved and properly second. Any questions? I have none. No questions. We'll take a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. There is no correspondence in front of us. New business resolution 2020-34-3930 McCook and release of lien. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion. I second. It's been moved and properly second. Are there any questions? I have none. No questions. We'll take a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we have in our packets the fire department training reports or all reports for November 2020. Um, is there a motion to accept the fire department reports? I make a motion. I second. This has been moved in private. Second. Are there any questions on the reports? I have none. If there are no questions, um, Let's take a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 
Uh, now we will have a report from our building department. Or do we just need to, um, we'll go ahead, you want to speak to these 30, 11 30 Dickey? Correct. Um, James Patalati, Chicago Building Commissioner. Um, before you have an order to receive and release the order to demolish 3011 30 Dickey Road um, due to the fact that BP Amical purchased the property and self demolished the property. Okay, so BP, BP got this one and self demolished? Correct. Okay, this is right in that footprint of Roxana right there? It used to be the old George Michael's bar. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, we've been dealing with this for a while. Okay, um, okay, and then um, 4815 and Boulevard, is this emergency demolition? Correct. For okay. The chimney only. Okay, um, okay, let's take these one at a time, dude. Is there a motion for 3011 that's 30 Dickey Road in order to rescind and release? Uh, bring release order to demolish. I make a motion. I second. It's been moved and probably second. Any questions? None. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And um, do we need to approve the emergency demolition or is that something that's just, uh, okay, I don't think so. I didn't think so. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you uh, so much. Thank you. Is there in, there's no audience here for participation? Our next meeting, Wednesday, January 13th. Um, is that agreeable to the building department? Yes. Okay, at 5.30 p.m. If there's nothing else before us, we will take a motion to adjourn. I make a motion. A second. We would have probably second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries, meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.